Um, I am Deb Putnoy. I'm in the Creativity Lab in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm really excited to be here and talk about, um, you know, really probably the heart of why I do a lot of my work. I just finished teaching um, a teen who I love working with, and I love working with teens in my studio and tweens and adults, and I work with all different ages. Um, but you know, we all have seen the news lately about how our tweens and teens have been struggling. Um, and I think art is the anecdote to um, helping our teens deal with stress and anxiety in their life. And I think it's true for adults as well. But today I'm really gonna talk about um, teens. I know for myself, um, I started suffering from anxiety when I was in middle school. Um, back then there wasn't a lot that was really as much known about anxiety and different things. So I just came upon using art as a way to um, connect with myself, find calm. I always had a sketchbook with me and I'm gonna talk about that today, about how art um, and the creative process and just is a great outlet for dealing with kind of emotions and things that we don't always understand or know how to process or know how to talk about. So I think, um, having gone through COVID and all the different things that we all have gone through in the last couple of years that are sometimes hard to talk about. I think art is the perfect way to metabolize kind of the unknown, the um, scary feelings that might come up. And it just um, helps us um, to kind of slow down and ground ourselves in a really powerful way. So I wanted to talk about, um, you know, first that, you know, um, I have been at kind of uh, dealing with this for years with kids and know how powerful the, this approach and using drawing and creativity can be to help teens and tweens. Um, and that, you know, you don't have to do a lot of it. So I know that when I talk to parents and I talk to parents a lot, you know, there's that sense of like, I need a lot of time. I need a lot of fancy materials. Um, and I know I brought this up yesterday about with board teens that you really don't need um, a lot of fancy materials to kind of bring that kind of calm into our teens' lives. So you can have a pencil and just some plain, plain paper. It can be scrap paper out of um, your recycle bin. It doesn't need to be fancy and it doesn't need to be expensive and you don't need a lot of time. Um, this could be something that you introduce or share with your teen or tween like at the breakfast table or before you go to bed or when your your teen is feeling kind of stressed out. Um, I have some anxious teens in my life and I try to share these tools with them because just like meditation or yoga or running or exercise um, is our tools in our toolbox, um, so is using art and so is drawing. And you could just do a, a two minute drawing here or there and it starts to build up over time the sense of calm that we can bring to ourselves just through the tip of our pencil. So I want to um, really encourage you, even if you're not, you don't feel artistic yourself, you're kind of nervous around art, these are kind of exercises that anyone can do. I um, do them in all different places. I do, you know, I work with doctors and different, I, I just work with lots of different people that kind of help bring calm into their life. And you don't need to be an artist or feel comfortable to kind of get a benefit from it. So that's, even if you, you feel like maybe your teen, this, they're not artsy, they can still get a great benefit from doing some of these things. So, um, so you don't need fancy materials, you don't need a lot of time. Um, and so I was gonna teach you a couple of exercises. And what I wanna say about these two exercises is that it's not necessarily like a one and done. Like you don't have to do it once and you feel like, okay, I've done that and I'm gonna go on to something else. That you can repeat these exercises every day. You could do the same exercise every single day for two minutes, five minutes, seven minutes. Um, and the benefit of just doing a little bit every day can make a big difference. So, um, and I always compare it to kind of the yoga or meditation. Like even if we meditate two minutes a day or five minutes, we start to like know how to just kind of reset a little bit during our day. And so I wanna bring that same kind of feeling um, using drawing and helping our teens kind of know that it doesn't have to be, we're not making, you know, um, Van Gogh portraits or, you know, we're not, if this isn't about art making in the big A sense of the word, it's about using art as a way to de-stress and find some calm. Um, 
And okay, so the first exercise I want to share with you is um, an exercise that I kind of I love to draw with two hands at the same time. I like I don't know if people have seen me do it. If not, it's something that I love to do. Um, and I'm just working right now on a course about two-handed drawing and how to use it in different ways. And one of the ways that I like to share is to use two-handed drawing for, while you do some breathing. So, um, uh, I don't know what's said, action needed. I don't know what that says, performance issues. Hopefully this is working all, all right. Um, let me just see it saying close some applications. Let's just close up some things here. Okay, should have done this um, before. Okay, maybe that will help. Okay, so two-handed drawing. So what I want you to think about while we're doing this is there's no wrong way to do this. If you know my rules of drawing, there's no wrong way. There's no mistakes. It's just about exploration and investigation and discovery. So when you do two-handed drawing, you could... Um, put on some classical music if you want. You don't have to do that. But I want you to share, and you could sit with your teen and do this if you're feeling stressed out, but I want you to breathe as you're drawing. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you and not talk at the same time. So I'm going to kind of um, sh tell it to you, and then you can watch me, and then you can try it. The idea is that you're going to draw with both hands, like in this kind of circular way, and as you're drawing, you're going to feel your breath come in and then out and in and then out. So what I want you to do is just to kind of feel the breath. So I'm just going to do and you can see it. So I'm going to breathe in. I have my eyes closed. And you don't have to have your eyes closed. You can keep them if you feel better about keeping them open. You know what I do? I'm going to just change my this pencil. You can't really see it. Okay. So in, out. doesn't have to be a perfect circle, but I want you to feel your breath going in and out. Could you try to slow down your breath? And so you just start to get into a rhythm of feeling your breath go in and then out, and if you want to move it a little bit in, and then out, and then if you ha want to use bigger paper, so you really can feel yourself moving, so in, you can even move a little bit on the seat and move your hands, and just feel that rhythm. We don't really care what's coming out on the paper, we're just hooking up and grounding ourselves, through our breath, through our drawing, in and out. And you could set a timer and do this for a minute, for two minutes. You can check in. Sorry, my, I, my little dog is here. So this is one way to just Use both hands, kind of get like kind of a movement, a rhythmic movement going, your, your breath, your hands are moving, and you're just connecting through the pencil. And it starts to get very, very calm. So if you're feeling, if your teen or tween is feeling really stressed out, you can say, let's sit down for two minutes, five minutes, get some paper. You can even do it on newspaper, two markers. It doesn't have to be pencils. It can be two markers, crayons. Just feel the movement of your arms. Breathe in breathe out. It's almost like um, I used to be a swimmer a long time ago and I did the breaststroke. So it's like that feeling of like you're in and out. And even if you can't link it up exactly with your breath. Um, so I want you to try that. That's one way to think about how you can just bring some calm through drawing. Two hands, breathing in and out. Um, so that's one way that I want to encourage you um, to use drawing. You could do this every day. It could be like every day, at, you know, after school, um, before homework, 
having a tough day, if you know, wh whatever, or just introduce it to your teen and then they might just do it on their own. So that some of this is just like introducing the idea, introducing the concept. Um, the other thing that you can do, and I talked about this a little bit yesterday, is just putting on some calming music. Just put on some classical music, put on music that they choose, just close your eyes and just have your pen or pencil dance to the music. Um, Facebook, it's a little bit tricky about using music, so I'm not gonna put any music on right now, but just imagine you can try this after we get off. Put on some classical music for two minutes and I guarantee your heart rate will lower, you'll feel less stressed. You could use different color pastels or crepas and just close your eyes and just listen to the music and have your pen or pencil dance on the page. And that's another way just to feel grounded in listening to the music and then have it come out on the page as just a moving line or dots or dashes. So those are two um, very simple ways to help, you know, when you're feeling like you are out of ideas of how to help your teen or tween, to use drawing as a way just to get grounded, to settle down. Um, I've created this um, program called the Creativity Lab for Teens and Tweens. I have a whole section in there of five minute go-to exercises that teens and tweens can use, and adults, you're welcome to do it with them, um, to find calm and connection and just to kind of ground ourselves down. Um, not grinder, but you know, like to just get grounded in ourselves. So there's just like a whole kind of section in the Creativity Lab that's just about de-stressing, finding calm, and they're just short exercises. So it doesn't, you don't, like I said before, you don't need a lot of time you just need to kind of give yourself permission to say like, I'm gonna share this with my teen or tween, give them the encouragement. Like I said yesterday, there a lot of teens are just craving this stuff. Um, I know when I go into schools or um, when I work with teens in my studio and they might come in feeling like, yesterday I had a teen that came in and she was just anxious and then just starting to do some watercolor just like calms you right down. So all of these, um, videos, these short videos, these little um, tools that I'm giving um, you and your and your teen or tween or someone that you know that might have teen or tween are just ways to find calm in your life. So you can leave me a message. You can, if you're watching the replay, you can message me later. Um, I, the Creativity Lab is open right now. If you sign up by July 1st, I'm giving a, I wrote a hundred page um, book for kids on how to use drawing as a way to calm themselves and that is a free PDF download that I will send to you. Um, if you know someone that has a teen or works with teens, if you're a therapist, um, this lab is really like another resource. It's um, set up in a Netflix style kind of way. So if you're just looking for something, you have 15 minutes and you're like, I want to do something for 15 minutes just to, um, you know, to learn something new or I'm on the bus and I want to draw and you want to do something on the go. I have little like um, different prompts and ways to use drawing and art in your life. So it's, it's drawing, painting, collage and printmaking and mixed media that I teach in the Creativity Lab. And so you don't have to choose one media, I kind of teach them all. And then you can choose, um, or your teen and tween can choose what they want to learn and how they want to use it. And some people just use one thing over and over and over again and that's fine. Um, just like some of us watch Seinfeld a million times over on Netflix. So you can um, t do it in any way that you want. And like I said, you can message me. Um, I am open to questions about the lab or anything that we've done today. Again, try these exercises even for you. They're calming. Or if you're a teen and tween watching this, give it a try. It really, if you have an exam, you know, they found now that when you're stressed out before an exam, I'll end on this note, um, they've done research that even if you doodle before an exam, um, you're feeling stressed out, you doodle, the kids that doodled before an exam versus the kids that didn't, the kids that doodled did better on the exam than the kids that didn't doodle. So doodling or doing this before an exam, it, it you know wakes up your brain in different ways. So give it a try, let me know how it goes, share your drawings, and um, I will be back on Monday with our next um, discussion about the about teens and how art can help the teens and tweens in our life and if you have any questions again you can email me at artforachange at mac.com or you can message me in facebook um, 
or you can message me on Instagram, which is Art for a Change is my Instagram ha handle. Okay, everyone, um, I put the link for the lab if you're interested in learning more, and um, I will see you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye, and happy Father's Day to any dads out there.